I guess you know I'm I'm still a, a little bit numb that uh, you know where I came from and you know how how, how much we had and now I'm certain you know uh, so so somebody else that I you know if you asked me years ago I probably ne ne never thought that I, w I would get to this point but uh, it's it's just like this suddenly I, I became somebody else. Growing up in the jungles of Vietnam, Sai Schwarm never knew where life would take him. With little schooling, no electricity, little food, and threats of Viet Cong attacks, Sai had a life that most people could only read about. After the death of his brother from food poisoning, Sai had a dream of becoming a doctor. With the chance to escape Vietnam at 15 years old, Sai made his way to the United States. Being in a strange world with no knowledge of the culture or language made the transition extremely difficult. But his determination got him through school, and Sai's dream of becoming a doctor was slowly becoming a reality. While in medical school, he married and had two children. In addition to the stress of medical school, he worked odd jobs to support his family and pay for school. A huge blow was dealt when his wife, Jill, was diagnosed with breast cancer. With successful treatments, Sai's wife, Jill, is his primary cheerleader. Basically that he's just very persistent and determined and um, like he had said this is his dream and he didn't you know he just wanted to try to accomplish it and just keep going he didn't want to give up and I was very supportive of that too because he had come so far and I just I knew in my heart he could do it because um, I, you know I know he's smart I know he's he understands things he just you know had to get over some barriers with the language and and so um, I just tried to encourage him on being accepted into the family medical residency program was a great joy for Sai along with living his lifelong dream Sai met many new people who became part of his family a few had some kind words to say to Sai on his graduation Sai has an amazing sense of humility um, that's a that's a real privilege to be a part of he's very open to learning um, and is a great model for gratitude for reminding you to be grateful for what's around um, and and very humble and grateful for what happens in his life in a way that I think is a very good reminder for all of us um, and that's one of the things that I've uh, learned from Sai as he has been willing and very open to learning um, anything that's offered to him. So I'm delighted to see him move into this next phase of his life, although we'll miss him terribly, and uh, it's been a pleasure to work with him. Uh, when uh, Ted uh, first was accepted by the program, there's a delay in him starting, and during that, about a year, year and a half, or two years, I'm not sure exactly how long it was, uh, he had to support his family. And uh, some people would just sort of say, well, some jobs are beneath me, but uh, Ted looked around, he, he took jobs and he worked wherever he had to to support his family. I think he worked in, in a casino uh, for a while, which a lot of people wouldn't do. And uh, that was inspiring me to, for me to see that. There are also a lot of obstacles during the uh, time before he came to the residency that he overcame, and he persisted through those. And then he went through uh, uh, another process of interviewing here. And uh, in, even after he, uh, came to the residency program, there have been, um, uh, I guess, obstacles or challenges that he had to meet. And I think it's actually been very inspiring to see him sort of step up and meet those challenges uh, uh, head on. And uh, no matter how bad it, it looked at times, uh, he would say, look, I got to get it done. And he would do it. So uh, perseverance and humility have been the uh, inspiring things for me. Sai Schwarm, uh, what can I say other than he uh basically is the American dream. Uh, this guy came from Vietnam, tells a story of growing up in a village with absolutely nothing, uh, having to escape communist concentration camps and taking a boat over to America. Came to America with absolutely nothing, has made the best out of life. When Sai was uh, applying for residency, um, when he was waiting to get into the residency program, he actually flipped hamburgers to support his family, uh, which speaks volumes of his character and his work ethic. Um, I met Sai um, my intern year, and he is given of himself 120 percent all the time. Uh, he'll do anything that you ask him to. He'll take call. He's taken call from me on multiple occasions and has helped me out whenever I needed him to. Um, 
when we're just hanging out during lunch, sometimes we'll go and it'll, we'll go have some Vietnamese pho, which is a soup noodle based dish, which is a favorite of all Vietnamese people and myself. Um, when I need it, he also will watch my dog, which is good. I have a pet German Shepherd, and uh, he, his house is always open anytime I feel like going on vacation. He said he can, uh, he can help out with that. It's, it's always kind of a running joke that, that German Shepherd or dog in general was uh, kind of his, a village uh, staple of their diet, so I've got to keep an eye on that. But besides that, everything else about Sai is uh, top notch. He is an excellent resident, he's a great person and uh, I, I see great things in life for him. Uh, first time I met him, he was uh, very pleasant, very nice. Um, getting to know him throughout the years, I think, uh, and, and being able to know his, understand his background and, and listen to his stories is just uh, amazing where he came from. Uh, to me, he seemed like he grew up, you know, came from the jungles of Vietnam, uh, you know, had very little education growing up, but was able to come over to America, uh, you know, get that education uh, by himself, and you know, ex excel to become a physician. And that's just amazing. So I just want to say, you're one of the best. Uh, to come from where you're, you know, the obstacles that you've come through, and to be your, become a doctor um, against all odds. That's that's very, very great, and I am so proud of you, uh, and I'm sure your family is too. Uh, it's been nice knowing you here at the residency, and I would just like to wish you the very best. All right, Dr. Swarm, what can we say? It's been a great three years, and I've really enjoyed the opportunity to get to know you. Um, I have to say I've just been amazed. The more I learn about your life, the more I just kind of see how you truly have been a life testament to the power of the endurance of the human spirit. Um, it really has been a rewarding year to get to know you and your family. And I have to say, in my 20 plus years of teaching, you probably have been probably the re most rewarding to me personally. Um, I have to say that I hope that my children have learned as we've gotten to know you and your family about just what a great role model you are about working hard and um, enduring and pers persevering to reach your goals. And uh, again, I have to say it's been an honor to get to know you and your family over the past three years. We wish you well and hope that you will continue to let us know back here how you're doing uh, as you go off and become more and more successful. So we wish you well and thanks again for uh, giving me the opportunity to get to work with you. Thanks. Hi, Cy. I just wanted to tell you how much we enjoyed having you for the last three years. You've really been an asset to our clinic. Um, the other thing I wanted to say to everyone was when Ted gets into Iowa and he invites you for dinner, and if he tells you that he is cooking his favorite dish, I would like you to be very careful. Sai's favorite dish is cobra, and it's not the ordinary cobra that you get in the store, the specialty store that's frozen. His is the fresh, right out of the snake kind of cobra. Uh, Ted has told me a couple of times how he has gone out and found the cobra. He sticks a rod into the ground, finds it, digs it up, and then brings it home to prepare it. I don't know which is more dangerous, actually getting it and preparing it or eating it. So if he invites you over to eat any, please be very careful. Um, Cy, I just want to tell you that um, congratulations and uh, hope you have a good time in Iowa and I'm sure when you get there uh, you'll probably eating, be eating Cobra with corn. So take care and um, have a great time. Bye. Well, I just want to say how I'm very, very proud um, I am of Psy. I always knew in my heart that he could do it, and that's why I've supported him all of these years and helped him in every way I can because he's such a determined person and so persistent that um, I just knew he could do it. I knew he would have success and that he should go for it and keep going and um, and that we would make it. 
if you wanted to do something, you you can't do it in this uh, country. And if I can't do it, you know, everybody else can. But uh, you know, you have to work hard and keep a uh, focus. You know, um, and that's exactly what I would teach my kids still. You know, you whatever you want to do. You know, uh, America has so much uh, opportunity here. So basically, what you want to do, you just work hard and focus, and you can do it. It's a, uh, a dream that I, I had uh, long ago, seem uh, uh, too f far away, and now became a reality.